What's this remind you of? Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid? Right, because of like the grape character. But do you remember tapes in the 80s when you would rip off the plastic? It smells exactly like I had Guns N' Roses lies, GNR lies, oh, yeah. and like ripped off the plastic and like it has that smell, you know? I'm a perfumer. Uh, our house is DS and Durga. Um, we've been making fragrances since 2009. And for me, perfume is very much about armchair travel and storytelling. And I love the artistic approach to perfume when you can really tell a narrative story with um, the progression of top heart and bass notes in perfume. I build realistic accords um, of parts of a story and then weave them together into a, a workable perfume. So I try to stay authentic to the story of the perfume, even if it's a story I made up, that you can smell it. I give the description and explain what you're smelling and hopefully you can understand why and what I'm trying to do and maybe some of the materials I used in order to create the illusion of space that perfume creates. Narrative structure you could take it as that linear thing, the first things that you smell and then after an hour, after 30 minutes and then an hour and, and, and beyond. But it's for me, like I said with the Lier motifs, it's about that you're gonna smell this fragrance and be like, oh wow, that does smell like the Wild West. And then you're like, oh yeah, I smell the, the, the clary sage that is, is everywhere, like oh, I smell that le the leather and you just feel like maybe like a cowboy or at least you're there and it becomes part of your I mean it, it becomes part of your your dress right because there's this magic that you can walk around wearing this world on you you can be sitting on a New York City subway but smelling your arm and be brought to the mountains of Japan or whatever the perfume is doing you know in volatile I'll be showing this story that is about it's it's sort of like the Das Wunderhorn uh, German romanticism, uh, boy in a forest thing. I grew up with these woods behind my house that were really magical to me. And so it's about a youth who f stumbles upon a magical crystalline droop. He finds this crystalline droop, but it's protected by this wild beast. And so you'll smell the wild beast and they fight and he rips off the horn, he blows the, the horn, this ancient melody comes out and you can smell this melody. Um, and then the forest comes alive and then the flowers of the forest come alive and there's this wild bacchanal revelry. And then uh, it turns out that what he's just done has become the beast himself and he, the horn goes on his head and now he has to protect the, the droop. So it has a weird like sort of fateful 19th century romantic ending. The cultural touchstone of our generation is food. Not everyone knows the new album. Like when, when my mom was a kid, everyone knew the new Bob Dylan record, you know? But now like everyone knows who Thomas Keller is. So I don't know if it'll ever get to that realm, but perfume is starting to have more, people are being able to talk about notes, you know, and some of the materials used and understanding some of the genres and things like that. that. So I think that, that that's an important step towards that sort of education.